Hello everyone, it's me, Ben, the guy who usually unboxes stuff on this channel. Famously, that's the thing I do here. I'm going to unbox some things for you, perhaps some figures, because I also talk about figures a lot. That's the thing I know a lot about. It's my niche and no one else can take that from me. It's mine now. That figures, it's my show. You may be thinking, what figures? Not that figures. What? See what I did there? You see it. Well, you may like a little thing called Star Wars. I tend to like it a little bit. I've got, got a little dudes back there. Got a little dude here. I'm really good at directions, in case you haven't noticed. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to add some dudes to my collection. A little thing called Star Wars Visions came out last year. You may have watched it. You may know about it. Anyway, that show came and went a little bit. And I was like, you know what? I've seen some figures out here on the internet. I'm going to pre-order a few. And then like... That came out last year's probably like nearly a year has passed. Finally got the figures today. I'm very excited to be able to open them all for you so you can have a look at their juicy, juicy little bits of plastic. So first up, we have the big boy. This is Ronan. You might recognize him from a little show called Star Wars Visions, which we've already mentioned. He is the biggest figure of all of them. He is 22 centimeters tall. Comes in a lovely looking box. It's got a little bit of the anime style art from the episode you might recognize. Um, of course, this episode all in black and white. And it looks like the figures kind of retained a little bit of that featuring, which is very cool. And then the other two kind of go together. Um, so we have the twins. We have Am, who's the evil twin. And we have Kare, who is the uh, not evil twin. It's been a while since I've seen that episode. These figures are made by Van Presto, I believe, Bandai. Uh, you know, the company that makes some. Those are the guys that did these. So, those are the figures I've got. We, we sh th you're here for the juicy, the juicy unboxing stuff. So let's get to it. Uh, I forgot to mention those small figures. They are both about 18 centimeters tall. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chuck them open. Chuck them open, chuck them open. Got my opening implement here. Scissors. This is satisfying like ASMR thing. I don't really know. That was cutting away from myself, don't worry. Doing the, the good legal thing. This is how you use scissors, everyone. It's a box inside a box. What's in this box? The figure. All right, so we have the base. We have the lightsaber. This is the end of the lightsaber. And we have, we have the guy. It's the guy, one of the dudes himself. One of the dudes that's gonna go on my dude shelf. I don't like that. This is Kare. Uh, this is this is a figure. We'll do close-ups of it. Um, and then I'm just gonna quickly get through arms um, so we can talk about them together. Yeah. That was like surprisingly easy to open. Oh, I need to make sure I don't crush the lightsaber. Ooh, wow. She's ooh, she's got more parts. Does she? Oh no, the, she got the same amount of parts. Hang on, we'll we'll open it first. She got this three parts still, but they're different parts. Well, one of them, kind of. We'll get to it. We have the head, a, a decapitated head. Look at that, look at that head. And of course, the bit you've all been waiting for, the base. Oh yes, oh, this is a lovely little figure. Um, where's her lightsaber? Does she have a lightsaber? She does not. I swear she did. No, she doesn't come with a lightsaber, but with helmet. Chunk. Ooh, bit of prep. <laughs> Alrighty, and we put the base on the feet, and then I'm gonna put Kara together, and we can look at them together. We'll advise if you happen upon these figures yourself, just be a little bit careful with this lightsaber because it feels very flimsy, and I would be not surprised if it is possible to break. In fact, I'm not gonna push it in any further than that. But that's Kara. And here we have Am. And yes, they are from the episode, The Twins, from Star Wars Visions. Um, a few cool details about them as I go through a few close-ups. I think one of the really cool things from memory, the plot of this episode, again, been a while, is that uh, they are both twins who are members of the Empire and Kare defects and is able to like purify his lightsaber. And there's a cool little detail if you look really close at his blue lightsaber here, and it's a the end of the kyber crystal in it like where the kyber crystal is still like pushing out energy there's just a little bit of red in there 
which is really nice little detail. The other things I really like on these figures, they really capture the art style of the anime episodes in particular. Again, all of Star Wars Visions had very different styles for each of their episodes. And this episode was very like a bit more of like a classic anime style with some really striking highlights on the characters. You'll notice on Kare, there's a lot of really good blue highlights, kind of like where the shadows would be. And then on Am, we've got similar, really beautiful pink highlights, particularly on the left or right, depending on perspective of the character. They're actually decent sized little figures as well. Like 18 centimeters is not, not small by any means. They'll look really good, nice together on a shelf. I'm very, very happy with these two. Again, they were only like 70, 80 Australian dollars. So there's no points of articulation or anything. The pose you get them in is the pose you have, but they're nice poses. They've been, they've been posed very well. And like, again, I don't think you're going to be that upset with the amount you paid with the quality of these figures. It's very good. Paint quality is very good. Those are all the things that figure people care about, I guess. Anyway, those are the two twins. They're very cool, but let's get to the main event, so to speak, the big boy. Ronan from the episode The Duel. As we mentioned earlier, he's a slightly bigger figure coming in at 22 centimeters, so about four centimeters taller than the other two. This is from probably one of the most well-known episodes of Star Wars Visions. It featured a lot in the trailers and is one of the first episodes in the actual series, so a lot of people would have watched it. It's a very striking black and white style with the only real color in the episodes being the glow of lightsabers. And I think from what I've conceived this figure and what it shows in the box and the pictures I've seen, they've really captured that in the figure. So I'm very excited to open it. Let's get into it with our opening implement. Put the instructions on the inside of the box into how to put him together, which is nice. Get my fingies right in there. Oh, no, sliding out. Oh, it's a heavy, it's a heftier, heftier thing. He came in at around 130 Australian dollars. Oh my good, he's large. Those other two, quite flimsy. This boy, chunky. Case in point, more bags. We got a lot more bits. Bit one, bit two, bit three, chunky bit four, bit five, bit six, bit seven. And look, I'm not sure if you can really call this, this one a bit, considering it is the main figure. But I guess you can. Bit 8, the dude himself. So let's put him together and then I'll show you the whole thing. Yeah. That first bit was very finicky to get in. It would really have helped if I hadn't haphazardly thrown all the bits on my desk. And there we go, that is the Ronin, all built together in one piece. That took me way longer than I'm happy to admit. Now a few details I'm really happy with on him. Again, a lot of the style of the anime he's in has carried over to the figure itself. Um, especially the black and white, as I mentioned, the, the episode itself is almost entirely black and white. And then you have the red glow of the lightsabers and potentially other lightsabers have other glows, I can't remember. Um, but then you have that being the main source of color within the episode itself. And the way that's come across in the final figure is honestly like super impressive. So they've actually shaded in the red glow onto the figure itself, painted it all onto it. So it looks as if the lightsaber is emitting that red glow onto the figure. And it's just, it's delivered this really quite stunning result, which was honestly the reason why I decided to buy the figure in the first place. Because it's just such a brilliant way of capturing that that style from the anime and bringing it into the figure itself. You've also got a lot of the really flowing bits and pieces um, of the character's robe itself carried across into the final figure. Some of them even move a little bit, which is really cool. Um, it definitely feels like, they definitely feel a bit flimsy, uh, but overall you're not gonna be touching this character much, so I don't think you're gonna be that worried about it. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with this figure. I think it's definitely worth the $130 or whatever I paid for it. It's a beautiful pose, very well modeled. I'm very happy. The only thing I'd be like overall a bit negative about all three of these figures is the base itself. It's just a basic plastic base. But again, you're not paying the regular figure price. These are like low end cheaper figures. And given that these are, this is a hefty guy. 
they'll all look wonderful on my shelf together. So I'm, I'm really happy with these. I think they are fantastic figures. Um, they really capture all three of the characters super well and ca capture the style of their respective episodes in awesome ways. And so I think I'm happy if you pick up figures like these by the same people, hopefully maybe they still have some available. If you ever end up picking them up, you'll be happy with your purchase, I'm sure, because I'm a figures expert and I'm the only one in Edo that cares about figures. So if you want to come to Edo for figures news, come to me. Don't listen to what they tell you. Thank you.